Hello sports fans, it is Monday, October the 28th, the year 2013, and as usual, a lot to get to in the sports world, so let's get it going right now. Hope you guys had a great weekend, hope you enjoyed some of the games over the weekend. Let's recap what went on in the sports world the last few days. Let's start in the NFL, let's start with the Thursday night game from last week, where the Carolina Panthers beat the Tampa Bay Bucks down in Tampa, 31-13, Carolina up to 4-3. Tampa remains winless. Tampa Bay and Jacksonville battling for the first pick in the draft. I don't think Seattle is going to last for Tampa Bay. I don't know about Glennon at quarterback. Tampa Bay is a mess. Nice job by Carolina. They've won three in a row. They're starting to put some things together. We wanted to see if Carolina could be a consistent, good team. They're starting to put some things together. I like their defense. I like Cam Newton. They're right in the middle of the playoff race. Nice job by Carolina because this was the type of game Carolina would lose the last couple of years. So nice job by Carolina beating a bad team. Carolina, like I said, up to four and three. Keep an eye on them. They're right in the playoff race. Let's go down to New Orleans where the New Orleans Saints beat the Buffalo Bills 35-17. Saints up to 6-1. Bills drop to 3-5. This game was very close early. Saints pull away in the second half as they usually do in the Superdome. I'll tell you, in the beginning of this game, the Bills defensive line was having their way with the Saints offensive line. But the Saints, they just find a way in that Superdome to get the train rolling. It's like a train. Comes out slow, but they get once they get cooking, they are hard to stop. The Saints can beat anyone in the Superdome. Any team that goes there, the Saints can beat. I like the way Buffalo is playing. They're playing hard. The coach has them playing hard. They give a great effort every week. So I do like what I see from Buffalo. But the Saints, I mean, like I said, the Saints in the Super, Superdome are a handful. They get the win here. Let's go down to Philadelphia where the New York Giants beat the Philadelphia Eagles 15-7. to Giants up to 2-6. and six. They've won two in a row, believe it or not. Eagles down to 3-5. and five. Vic leaves with yet another injury. It seems like Michael Vick is hurt every week. We don't know about him the rest of the way. Foles was out with a concussion. Barkley came in the game. He was so-so at best. I mean, what did he have, 200 yards total? I mean, so-so at best. Giants kept settling for field goals. Giants kicked five field goals in this game. The Giants could have put this game away a million times. And where is this big Chip Kelly Eagle offense? They couldn't score at all against Dallas, and now this week they couldn't score against a terrible Giant team. I mean, Eagles' only touchdown was off a bad snap on a punt by the Giants that the Eagles ran into the end zone, or else the Eagles had no points. Chip Kelly's not going to have patience for this. He's going to run back to college within two years. The Eagles are not a good team at all. Neither are the Giants, but they are starting to show some life. They do get the win here. Let's go to Detroit. What a wild game this was. The Detroit Lions beat the Dallas Cowboys 31-30. Detroit up to 5-3. Dallas down to 4-4. Four four. I mean, Detroit stole this game. Dallas is up three points with a little over a minute to go. They're in Detroit territory, and Detroit has no timeouts left. I mean, how in the world did Dallas lose this game? I'll tell you what was a big play. Dallas took a penalty on that drive, and it stopped the clock. When you take a penalty there, even though Detroit declined it, the clock stops. That killed Dallas in this game because Dallas ended up kicking a field goal. They had to go up six, but they left too much time on the clock. And in this day and age, when the offenses are so good, you can't leave any time on the clock. And sure enough, Detroit went right down the field. Stafford had a great drive to lead him down the field and score at the end. And Detroit steals this game. Stafford, 488 yards passing. And how good was Calvin Johnson? He was unbelievable yesterday. Detroit had to have this win after they lost a heartbreaker at home to Cincinnati last week. They had to have it. They got it. Monster win for Detroit. And here we go again with Dallas. How many times in the last few years have we said they've had an awful loss? Once again, they could have won this game. They could have gotten over the hump. They could have had a big win here. And they just let it slip away. They take a terrible holding call and they lose the game at the end. Atrocious loss for Dallas. I mean, I still think they're going to win that division. But you see this time in and time out with the Cowboys. Great win by the Lions yesterday. Let's go to Kansas City where the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Cleveland Browns 23-17. Chiefs remain perfect at 8-0. Browns drop to 3-5. I'll tell you, when it was 17-0 Chiefs, I thought this was going to be a blowout. Give the Browns credit. They came back. They played really hard. I thought Campbell, at quarterback, played well yesterday. Whedon took a seat yesterday. And remember, Hoyer's out for the year, so they went with Campbell. Campbell has had his moments in the past, but nothing consistent. He did play well yesterday. I thought at one point Cleveland was going to pull this game out. They were starting to take over the game, but Kansas City does hang on, and they do win. They're doing a great job, Kansas City. And the fans in the Arrowhead are to die for 
I like overall what I'm seeing for Cleveland. I mean, I don't think they're not going to make the playoffs this year. They're not going to do anything big this year, but they are starting to build a little bit of a foundation. Chiefs get the win, though. They stay 8-0. Let's go to London, where the San Francisco 49ers just plastered the Jacksonville Jaguars 42-10. Niners up to 6-2. Niners are on a roll. We know what they're one of the best teams in football. Jacksonville 0-8. We know what they're one of the two worst teams in football. I mean, I don't like the games in London. I mean, I know they had a nice crowd there. I don't like putting Jacksonville in London. Now the NFL says they want a team in L.A. and London. Why do we need a team in London? I don't understand it. It's like the English Premier Soccer League. I mean, they don't need a team in New York, do they? Why do we need a team, an NFL team in London? I just don't understand it, and I certainly don't understand why they keep putting Jacksonville there. Everyone knows Jacksonville is going to be the worst team in football for a while. Why do they keep playing there? So the Niners roll. The Niners are hot. Keep an eye on them. Let's go to New England, where the New England Patriots beat the Miami Dolphins 27-17. Patriots up to 6-2. and two. Dolphins down to 3-4. and four. Miami was up 17-3 at the half, and I thought Miami was going to win this game. And New England just blitzed them in the second half, 24 to nothing. I mean, they tied the game up in like a two-minute span. Terrible loss for Miami. Miami's now 3-4 and four and lost four games in a row. I mean, Miami's going the other way in a hurry. Remember, they did this last year, too. They got off to a hot start, and they fell apart. They're doing it again. This is a game they could have won, and they just played a terrible second half. Give New England credit again. It's amazing. With all these guys out of the lineup, they had a million guys hurt again yesterday on defense. They had Amendola hurt, and they still find a way to win. And you look up, and there's New England in first place again. Nice win by the Pats yesterday. Let's go to Cincinnati, where the Cincinnati Bengals just blasted the Jets 49-9. Bengals up to 6-2. Jets down to 4-4. Four four. Bengals are up 14-0 in the first. They're up 28-6 at the half. Good night. I mean, this is one of the games where the Bengals just laid it on the Jets. This was the type of performance we thought we were going to see from the Jets week in and week out. They haven't had too many of them this year. At 4-4, four and four, they're actually a surprise. They're playing this decently. This game was over from the start. I'll tell you, Cincinnati is definitely one of the better teams in the AFC. Do I think they're a Super Bowl team? No, but I like what I see from Cincinnati. They got a good defense. They got A.J. Green. I like the quarterback. Cincinnati's starting to get there. They're almost there. I don't think they're a Super Bowl team this year, but they're starting to get there. Let's go out to Oakland, where the Oakland Raiders beat the Pittsburgh Steelers 21-18. Oakland up to 3-4. and four. Steelers down to 2-5. and five. I mean, this game started off so badly for the Steelers. I mean, on the first play of the game, Pryor for Oakland runs about 95 yards for a touchdown. You knew it was going to be a long day for Pittsburgh. I mean, this was an awful loss for the Steelers. If the Steelers won this game, they would have been 3-4, and four, would have won three in a row, would have been like a game out of the playoff spot. Now they're 2-5. and five. To me, I think this season's over. I mean, I don't think the Steelers are a good team to begin with. I picked Oakland in this game, so I'm not surprised at all. This is an atrocious loss for Pittsburgh. I mean, this all but eliminates them from anything serious this year. Nice job by Oakland. Oakland is doing some decent things this year. I mean, Pryor didn't have a great game passing, but he had the one big run. Oakland's starting to show a little sign of putting something together. Now listen, they're far, far away from being a, a good team. But they are starting to do some decent things. They do get the win here. Pittsburgh never wins in Oakland, by the way. Uh, let's go out to Denver, where the Denver Broncos beat the Washington Redskins 45-21. Uh, Broncos up to 7-1. Redskins down to 2-5. It's funny, Washington was winning this game 21-14 in the fourth quarter. What happened? What happened? Denver woke up and they outscored Washington 31-0 in the fourth quarter. I mean, Denver's offense is unbelievable. Even yesterday when they were struggling, they still managed to put up 45 points. And listen, the Redskins, to me, their season is over. Their season's over. It's a lost year for Washington. They have a bad defense. We know RG3 is not 100%. He got a little nicked up yesterday. We'll keep an eye on that injury. It's a lost year for Washington. It really is. Denver continues to roll on offense. They started off slow, and they still put up 45 points. They get the win at mile high yesterday. Let's go out to the desert with the Arizona Cardinals. Beat the Atlanta Falcons 27-13. Arizona up to 4-4. Four and four. Atlanta down to 2-5. and five. It's a lost year for Atlanta. Their defense has been just cut up the whole year. No Julio Jones on offense. Steven Jackson always hurt. Roddy White hurt. It's a lost year for the Falcons. It's just one you put away. It's a lost year. Come back and regroup next year. It's just a lost year for the Falcons. Arizona's exactly what we thought they were. 
four and four, up and down, win one, lose one. They're going to be eight and eight at the end of the season. They have a good defense. They're a little shaky on offense. They did play well yesterday. I don't want to take it away from them. They're not a playoff team, though, Arizona. They're about an eight and eight team. Uh, let's go to Minnesota, the Sunday night game, where the Green Bay Packers beat the Minnesota Vikings 44-31. Packers up to five and two. They're in first place. Minnesota down to one and six. They are having an atrocious year. The Vikings made the playoffs last year. How far have they fallen? How bad is their defense? This was a wild game in the first half. Then the Packers kind of pulled away. The Vikings got two meaningless touchdowns in the fourth quarter when the game was already over. Packers are just too good for Minnesota. Minnesota, I mean, I don't know what they're going to do about this quarterback situation. You got Castle, you got Freeman, you got Ponder. It looks like they want to go with Freeman. I'm not a believer in Ponder. Forget Castle. So, so I can see them going with Freeman, although I'm not a big believer in him either. But, I mean, Minnesota has fallen apart. What's with their defense? I mean, their defense is horrible. And Green Bay, amazing. They're another team that always scores a bunch of points. Aaron Rodgers, tremendous quarterback. Even with Green Bay's injuries, I mean, they still seem to put up some big numbers. They get the win on Sunday Night Football last night. Of course, tonight, the Monday night game is awful. Seattle at St. Louis. I mean, we know Bradford is out, is out for the year for St. Louis. Seattle should cruise in this game. And, of course, uh, the teams that had a bye week last week were Chicago, Tennessee, Indianapolis, San Diego, Baltimore, and Houston. So you had a lot of teams off. So that was kind of where you were in your NFL. Not a great week in the NFL. You had a few really good games like that Detroit-Dallas game. Wasn't a great week in the NFL. As far as the college football, real quick, wasn't a great week in college football either. And I'll tell you, it's not a great co uh, week coming up for college football. Let's recap uh, what went on in college football over the weekend. Number one, Alabama just buried Tennessee 45-10. to I mean, no surprise there. Florida State blew out North Carolina State 49-17. No shock there either. Oregon beat UCLA 42-14. This was close for a half, and Oregon ran away with it in the second half. Ohio State just pasted Penn State 63-14. South Carolina had a really nice win against Missouri. This was the big upset of the weekend, I thought. South Carolina beat Missouri 27-24 double overtime. Missouri was undefeated coming in this game. Missouri was winning 17-0 in the fourth quarter. South Carolina tied it. Then they go to overtime. Missouri's up 7 in the first overtime, and South Carolina's got a 4th and 15, and South Carolina on 4th and 15 ties the game. Then in the second overtime, Missouri misses a chip shot field goal, and South Carolina pulls the big upset. Missouri and their fans heartbroken. They are no longer undefeated. They are no longer a title threat. So that was a big upset there. Uh, Stanford beat Oregon State 20-12 in Corvallis. Nice job by Stanford. Miami hung on and beat Wake Forest 24-21. I mean, we know Miami's got all kinds of injury problems, and now they go to Florida State next week. Florida State's going to lay it on Miami. We'll get more into that tomorrow. Uh, Baylor plastered Kansas, I mean, 59-14, no surprise there. Uh, Clemson beat Maryland 40-27, ho-hum. Uh, Oklahoma beat Texas Tech 38-30. Texas Tech was undefeated, but no one believed they were going to go undefeated the whole year, so Oklahoma beats them in Norman. Uh, Duke, beat Wake, uh, Duke beat Virginia Tech, I should say. That's a big upset, 13-10. I mean, Duke is not one of these teams that goes on the road and beats a ranked team very often. So nice job by Duke going to Blacksburg and beating Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech is not that good, but I don't want to take it away from Duke. And Fresno State stayed unbeaten. They beat San Diego State in overtime. So like I said, not a great week in college football last week and not a great week coming up in college football. As far as the World Series, we are knotted up 2-2 after the Red Sox won in St. Louis uh, last night 4-2. Remember, St. Louis took a 2-1 lead. You know, they won Game 3 on that controversial uh, interference call. I thought it was the right call in Game 3, so they won that game. Boston had a nice bounce-back win yesterday. Tonight's game is going to decide this series, I think. If St. Louis wins tonight and takes a 3-2 series lead, they only need to win 1-2 in Fenway. They have a good shot of winning. If Boston wins tonight and they go up 3-2 and they have two at Fenway, there's no way they're losing. This game, I think, will decide the World Series. The winner of this game will win the World Series. Should be a very, very riveting night in St. Louis tonight. That's what you should watch tonight. Forget, you know, forget the Monday Night Football game. Seattle-St. Louis is going to be a blowout. Too early for hockey. We're not watching NBA preseason. Game 5 World Series tonight. The big swing game, so keep an eye on that game tonight. Okay, you guys are all caught up. Now, tomorrow, we're going to have uh, Joe... Actually, I should say Wednesday. Tomorrow, there'll be no show. 
Wednesday, we will have Joe Spano back from Sirius Satellite Radio, and we will do all college football picks. By the way, I got the better of Joe last week, and I picked really well in college and pro uh, the last uh, couple of weeks, especially last weekend. I did really well in college and pro, and I've gotten the better of Joe Spano, especially in the head-to-head -head matchups. I think we had three uh, games we differed on. I think I won all three of them, not to brag or anything. So I will have Joe Spano back on Wednesday. We'll go through the college football games this weekend. There are not a lot of good ones. It's going to be a light week in college football. The big game where college game day is going to be is uh, Florida State-Miami. And I think Florida State's going to plaster Miami. Miami's got too many injuries. Miami just barely beat Wake Forest. They can't go to Tallahassee and beat Florida State. And that's the big game of the weekend. Other than that, not much. You've got a couple rivalry games like Michigan-Michigan State, Georgia-Florida, which lost its luster. There are not a lot of good games in college football. But me and Joe Spano will go through it. We will pick the games. We will do that on Wednesday. So you guys tune, on, tune in on Wednesday for that. Uh, then on Thursday, we should have our NFL picks. So we got a lot to do this week. And, of course, we'll recap the World Series. All right. You guys are all caught up. You guys, thanks for tuning in. You guys stay safe. Enjoy the games tonight. Monday Night Football. You got your World Series. You got your hockey, I think. If you can find you know, a hockey game. I think there's hockey on tonight. But who wants to watch hockey when you have World Series and Monday Night Football? It's too early for hockey. So you guys, enjoy the games tonight. Wednesday, college football picks with Joe Spano. Thursday, NFL picks. We should do that on Halloween. Okay, you guys, enjoy the games tonight. Talk to you Wednesday. Take care.